Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about how to share your Facebook live stream across all the different social media platforms while you're live. So buckle up your safety belts. It's Owen Video. Owen Video! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Owen Video here with another weekly tip on live video marketing to help you get more views and grow your business. In my last video, I shared with you how to get the link to your pre-scheduled Facebook Live. And if you haven't seen that, you're going to need to check that out before watching this video because we're going to build off of that technique. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to take that link and share it across all the social media platforms so that when you go live, your entire network gets an alert, whether they're on LinkedIn, whether they're on Twitter, or whether they're on Instagram, and they can come back onto Facebook and join you for your Facebook Live. So let's go to the computer and check out how to do it. Okay, so in the last video, I showed you how to get the link to your pre-scheduled Facebook Live by right-clicking and copying the link address. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into a program called Agora Pulse. Now Agora Pulse is a social media marketing software. It's kind of like a hoot suite or a buffer only. This is really designed for content creators. I know the team over at Agora Pulse and they are fantastic. They are not paying me to make this video, but I do get paid from them from time to time for some projects that we do together. Now, let's take a look at how this works. I've got my major social media platform set up here. I've got my Facebook, another Facebook page, my Instagram, my LinkedIn, my Twitter, and my YouTube. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the pre-scheduled Facebook Live link and we're gonna have it go out across all my different other platforms as soon as I go live. And to do that, the first thing we're gonna do is click on Publish right up here and now we've got the publishing bar up here and i can choose which sites i want to share to so i'm going to unclick off of my facebook page and this one doesn't matter we're going to go to instagram linkedin and twitter okay so just to be clear what we're doing here is we're going to create a post on these social media platforms and we're going to set a timer so that all of these posts go out at exactly the same time that you go live so when you go live, not only will your Facebook fans get an alert, but your Twitter fans will get an alert, your Instagram fans will get an alert, your LinkedIn fans, and whatever else, you know, whoever else it is that you wanna add here. Okay, just wanted to clarify that with you. Let's go back to the training. So I've selected which platforms I wanna use, and now I'm gonna create my master post copy over here. And then in this area, I, I can see what that post will look like on the different platforms. So I'm gonna put something like, and then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click on the link icon and I'm gonna paste the link that I just got from my pre-scheduled Facebook Live. And look what happens, an automatic thumbnail will pop up. But you guys know me better than that. We don't like to just leave it up to automatic thumbnails. So we're gonna go ahead and, and grab one of our thumbnails that we've used in the past. And to do that, I'm just gonna go over here. All right, we're gonna grab this thumbnail and because it's Jill Addison's thumbnail, I'm gonna have to, I'm just gonna go ahead and change the name here. Jill Addison, by the way, was a great, great episode, okay? So now we've got the Jill Addison thumbnail that is gonna go out. Let's take a look at what it looks like on LinkedIn. Boom, look at how solid that looks on LinkedIn. Oh my heck, you don't wanna miss this. Jill Addison is gonna spill the beans on all of this kind of stuff here. Let's take a look at what it looks like on Twitter. Now, all right, so on, on Twitter, we need to click include images. Boom, and you see how that fixed it right there? That kind of threw me off. I thought I was gonna have to can this video for a second there. And then we're gonna look at how ugly it looks like on Instagram. Now, here's the thing, guys. This is just the default view of what it looks like on Instagram, but when you post it on Instagram, it actually will uh, post in widescreen. It will post just fine. Uh, this is just part of, you know, one of those API errors that, that you'll, you'll have to figure out. So now that we're all ready to go, what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and we've got three choices. We can publish it now. We can add this to our queue or we can schedule it. We're going to schedule it and I'm going to click on next. So now what I'm going to do, let's say that I'm going live on December 24th or, or January 24th at, you know, 3 p.m. That's when I'm going to go live. Now, if you guys want to know a like a little bit of a trick, here's what I do. I always schedule these to go out at 3.05 p.m. Why? Because 
it just gives them a little bit more time to come into the live stream when we've already started there's already an audience there and there's a little bit of FOMO. FOMO is the fear of missing out, also referred to as fear of loss. We want them thinking, oh no, I'm late. I better hurry up and join. And that's why sometimes we'll promote our live streams to go out five minutes after we actually go live. Plus, you know, what if something goes wrong? You know, what if what if you're running behind? What if your guest is late and you need that extra five minutes? So we, we tend to give ourselves just a couple extra minutes after going live. And that's something you may want to think about. Anyway, back to the training. All right, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to click on repeat content. And this is going to give you this default option to republish this post every five days up to five times. Now, what this means is this post will go out on 124 at 3.05 p.m., but it will also go out every five days up to five times at 3.05 p.m. And this enables you to get more replay viewers on your live stream. Using Agora Pulse, you can even go back into the scheduler and change your copy for each individual post, which can be very, very effective. And then you're gonna click schedule and the deed is done. Now, Agora Pulse does cost a little bit of money and you can check out those plans in the description box below, but I have never, seen a social media scheduling tool so designed for live stream and video content creators. That's why Kim Garst uses them. That's why Steve Dotto at Dotto Tech uses them. And that's why I use them. This is really is a tremendous platform and I highly recommend that you guys check it out. Now, I also want you to check out a few more of my videos if you're looking to really get down with live stream and have the best live stream show of anyone in your niche, then check out more of these videos that you see on your screen now. Just tap on your screen, continue the education you're receiving here at the Owen Video channel. If you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to do that and I will see you in the next video.